Oh, so weird. I see. This is the material before it moves. Okay. And the House of Lancaster was the people who were in control of England at that time. Oh, and the Hundred Years' War <coughs> was a war that lasted for a hundred years uh, between France and England. And then there was John Huss, which he died at the stake as a heretic. And then there was Joan of Arc, which Brother Branham said she was a prophetess. And they she Siege of Orleans, and that was a battle fought against France and England, and the French won, <coughs> which Joan of Arc was on the French side, and they won, and they scared the French, no, they scared the English out and onto a bridge, but they did, but the English didn't know that they had set a boat on fire under it, and so the boat, I mean, the bridge collapsed when all the men went over it, and many of them drowned. Hmm. What happened to Joan of Arc? She, she was on the French side. The English got drowned. She was dead to Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. was oh, Joan of Arc fine, was uh, burned at, as, at the stake as a witch. Then there was the Gutenberg press, which was the first press that had movable metal type. And then there were, was the War of the Roses. It was called the War of the Roses because the nobles were fighting over what in England, and the nobles were fighting over what king they were going to have. And they... And one time, a noble was walking in, the, in a rose bed between some rose bushes, and he asked, and he met another noble, and the noble said, Are you on my side? And the other noble did not answer him. And then the noble said, If you are, pick a white rose and put it in your cap. And he picked a white rose and put it in his cap. And then came out another noble and said, If you are on my side, pick a red rose and put it in your cap. And it went on and on like that until they became against each other. And that's why they were called the Red Rose and White Rose Wars. And then there were the Tudors. Tudors that were like the Plantagenets. They changed from the Plantagenets to the Tudors. And then there was Col Columbus. Oh, and he entered in modern history too. And that's my report on the Middle Ages. Awesome. Can we ask questions? Yes. Okay. Um, what did Columbus do? In 1492. <laughs> he sailed the ocean blue. Very good. Um, Any more questions? What, um, you said John Huss was um, burned as a heretic, but what was he? Was he a heretic? No. Was he... Was he Catholic? Mm -hmm. No. Was he a Christian? Yes. Very good. But the the Catholics aren't aren't they the ones that burned him because he was what was he doing? Do you remember? He was printing the Bible. So they everyone can read it. You know who burned yes. Joan of Arc? They burned him by a stake. But who did it? You know who did it? Hmm? You know who did it? Who burnt Joan of Arc? Was it the Christians? No, it was a Catholic. Catholic. Mm hmm. It's funny how they burn people at the stake, but then afterwards they're like. Oh no. Whoops. Now they want to make her a saint and they're the ones that burn her. Mm -hmm. yep. What'd they do to John Wycliffe? John Wycliffe? After he died. Oh, they dug up his bones and burned them and threw them into the river called Swift. Mm. Um, so, was it 
the England that uh, went on the uh, bridge, and so it was their own fault since they drank the milk. No, the French did it, didn't they? Mm. Pretty smart generals, huh? What was your favorite thing you learned this year? Did you say, yeah, you done said it. English, English history. Very good. I have one more question about your timeline. Do you remember what Plantagenets mean? Where that came from? Wasn't it a plant? You stuck it in fat? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was, I want to think it was like broom straw. It was, was something, something like that. Something